you can draw a finite state machine that has some ambiguous choices in it. And this was the one we drew a bit earlier, where that first state has two uh, transitions labeled x. And this is called a non-deterministic finite state automaton, or NFA. It's called non-deterministic because there's no absolute choice, there's no deterministic choice that you make at all of the states about which transition to follow. There's some choices that you might have to make. <clears throat> so this is in contrast with a deterministic finite state automaton, in which case there's only one transition per uh, state to follow, right? So there's only one transition labeled X, and there's only one transition labeled Y, and there's only one transition labeled Z. So, that, so anytime you see that symbol, you know which transition to follow. But any NFA can be transformed into an equivalent DFA. Those are also duals of each other. And so this is what I want to show now, is how do you, how do, you do that transformation? I think to make things a little bit easier, it helps to picture this as, well, we've got this state here where there's two possible X's coming out. Instead, picture it as one transition labeled X, but then that one goes to two places. So that's kind of like the first step, is merge those two X's into one, but then have them still go to two different states. It's kind of like being in a cave system, right? I was talking about Indiana Jones, right? Being underground, exploring these caves. And um, so you have a cave explorer who's sitting down there, you know, with their hard hat on, and they've got a little walkie-talkie, little radio, this. And we've got someone standing on the surface who's drawing a map, who's trying to map out what that cave system looks like. And so the person on the surface doesn't know what the person who's actually in the caves uh, can see. And the person who's in the caves is only relaying information back to the person on the surface. So let's attempt to turn this NFA into a DFA by exploring the caves. So I've numbered all the states here as well. That'll help to kind of like... Um, keep track of which, which rooms, which caverns we're in. And so uh, let's try this out. It's my cave explorer there. Yes, there is. Oh, she's there. OK, so what, uh, what room are you in? Now I'm in room one. You're in room number one. All right. And uh, what doors do you see? Now I see doors X and door Y. You see an X and a Y, great. So there's an X and a Y. So go through X and tell me. So she went through door X. Where do you end up? I ended up in rooms two and seven. Ooh, okay. So two and seven on X. So you're in rooms two and seven. What doors do you see? I only see one door, and it's door Y. Okay. All right, so go through Y. I've gone through door Y. And where'd you end up? Right now, I'm in rooms three and eight. Oh, interesting. So she was in rooms two and seven. She went through Y, and she ended up in three and eight. So looking at the original diagram, we can see if you were in 2 and 7, and you walked through Y, you'd end up in 3 and 8. Okay, so you're in rooms 3 and 8. Uh, what doors do you see? Right now, I see doors X and door Z. Oh, there's an X and a Z. Okay. So if you went through X, where would you end up? If I go through door X, it looks like I'll end up in room 9. Okay. And are there any doors leading out of 9? There are no doors leading out of 9. Ah, so I know that's an accepting state. And how about if you went through Z, where would you end up? 
If I go through door Z, there's room four. Any doors leading out of four? No doors in room four. Okay. So that's an accepting state also. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go back to room number one, and we walk through Y. Where do you end up? I walked through door Y, and I ended up in room five. Okay. And then do you see any doors there? Yes, I see one door, and it's door X. And where does that go? That leads to room six. And then what doors do you see out of six? There are no doors leading out of six. Ah, so that must be an accepting state also. And is that all? That is all. Oh, thank you, my cave explorer. You've done a good job. Welcome. <laughs> it's really as easy as that, right? <laughs> All you need is someone else on the other end of a walkie-talkie. So you see how we did that? We started in room number one here, and then we looked to see where each of these transition leads us. And if they lead us to two rooms, we kind of pretend like we're in those two rooms simultaneously. It's almost like you made a clone of yourself as you're exploring the caves. And so those clones end up potentially in two, maybe three or four rooms, and then from there, they might see other transitions that leads them to other rooms. Um, and then you explore the cave system like that. Now, uh, when we were talking to our cave explorer and, they, and she said there were no more doors, we just assumed that those were accepting states. But really, what we do is we look on our NFA map and any state that's an accepting in our NFA is also an accepting in our DFA. So we can see that four and nine are acceptings in our NFA. So here they are acceptings in our DFA, as well as six. And so now this NFA that we drew is the same as the one that we came up with earlier. It had no ambiguous choices in it. So here we've got a way to transform an NFA into a DFA. <clears throat> 